So Republican politicians are freaking out about the possibility of losing the public opinion battle when it comes to impeachment. So now this is according to an article in The Hill, uh, and it's got some fantastic quotes from several unnamed Republican senators. Of course, they wouldn't want to go on the record because then they would earn the ire of Donald Trump. Uh, but these senators, because of how Donald Trump is handling impeachment by basically screaming out of Twitter, are not thrilled with him or, or his defense, to say the least. Now, let me give you these quotes. These are great. One Republican uh, senator, as he vented some of his frustration, said, quote, does he need to be so unhinged? He says the dumbest things. Mm. Mm. I love it. More. Uh, yes, this is the same congressman. Uh, there needs to be a coordinated response to everything. There needs to be a coordinated effort to just shut up. Referring to Trump. Mm. <laughs> I love this. Oh, taste the shot in front. Uh, okay, anyway. So now Republican lawmakers have also been saying that Trump and his political team desperately need to overhaul their strategy to, quote, regain momentum and prevent their party from losing the White House and a number of congressional seats next fall. So make no mistake, what they are looking out for is their own political future. Or, when it sim uh, quite simply, their power. They see Donald Trump and this impeachment as a way of them losing their power. So now, this is important, right? Because remember, these, these are Republican lawmakers, mostly senators, right? We know, and they know, they're never going to vote to remove the president. No, of course not. But they are afraid that impeachment will make Trump look so bad, and by extension the Republican Party, that he will lose in 2020 and he will drag down the rest of the Republican Party with him. Uh, in fact, there are a number of vulnerable Senate GOP incumbents that were named in this article. Again, the Senate would actually vote to convict and remove the president. And so that's why there is specific focus on the Senate. And so they name uh, Suzanne Collins, Martha McSally, Cory Gardner, Joni Ernst and Tom Tillis. Those are vulnerable Republican senators that they are worried about. And so they're desperately telling the White House, get a narrative and stick with it. And for God's sakes, rein in Donald Trump before he says something stupid. Er. And again, this has been the message coming out during all of Donald Trump's legal troubles uh, is You've got to get this guy off Twitter. You've got to get him off Twitter. He is ruining his case. Yeah, I know. Good luck with that, right? Uh, as the article goes on to explain, it's not very uh, its not very easy. It's actually very difficult to try to rein in Trump uh, and you know, or to even attempt to rein in Trump causes a lot more problems. So now uh, there's a veteran Republican strategist, by the way, uh, who also told The Hill, that he thinks that Trump's re-election chances are below 50%. And he cites the fact that his negatives are so high. In fact, the only way that Donald Trump could win another election is if someone more unpopular jumped into the race. Oh, but of course, that would never happen, would it? And the Democrats would never nominate someone so unpopular to challenge Trump, right? Okay, uh, but anyway, now the strategist did acknowledge, however, that many of his peers argue that the 2020 battle for the White House is still 50-50. So Republicans are like, I think we got a chance. But Donald Trump's got to shore up his messaging. Now, that's really telling when your allies think that it's a possibility that they could lose this because Donald Trump is simply being Donald Trump. So now, uh, let me get to a Trump ally who is on the record, and this is Senator Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham said this, quote, what's missing here, I think, is that coordinated effort to put somebody in charge of developing a message and delivering it. He also says that I believe that's about to be corrected, adding, I hope. Mm, you would hope. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, Graham also admitted in an Axios on HBO interview that Trump had made some missteps, right? Specifically pointing out that uh, it was a bad idea to ask China to investigate the Bidens. He said it was, quote, stupid. True. 
Uh, now, other Trump allies say the president's frequent zigging and zagging makes it tough to defend him against Democratic attacks, even though they acknowledge that past efforts to tamp down on Trump's tweeting have proved to be unsuccessful. Quote, and this is Kevin Kramer, uh, the Republican on the record from North Dakota. He said, I think it could be helpful to have a more professional, coordinated communications effort. However, you have to be very careful not to prohibit Donald Trump from being Donald Trump. And that's a risky run when you start institutionalizing these things. Kramer goes on to say that Trump's unpredictability makes it tough for GOP allies to defend the president. Quote, the reason it's difficult is sometimes he changes his midstream, and that's when it happens you find yourself out on a limb that has suddenly been cut off. The lack of that sort of institutional discipline does make it more difficult for the rest of us, if you will, as we're trying to carry his message. So now first he says, and, and this is great, I mean, you can't just prohibit Trump from being Trump, but you also have to have a coordinated message, but Donald Trump won't let you have a message because then he will later on contradict that message. So you're basically left with doing nothing because Donald Trump's an idiot and he doesn't know how to do communications. He doesn't know how to do strategy. And most importantly, he doesn't know how to shut up. And so he ends up hurting himself and the people who are out defending him. And that's why we've had so many different press secretaries. They just can't defend him because it's indefensible. So now here's the thing. If you have that situation, then how are you going to get a message across? Well, you can't. That's the problem. And that's why they don't have a message because, it look, they can't stick with one because Trump constantly changes. And then the president comes up with new lies. And as more and more wrongdoings come to light, so there's a, a huge, huge problem, right? So in reality, these Republicans, they're venting because they're in a, an impossible situation. They're trying to defend the most difficult person to defend, who is, like I said, mental. He is not there uh, and has no idea what he's doing. And he changes his stories on a whim. He throws everyone else under the bus. Uh, and, and so and what do you do? If you're one of these Republicans in Congress, do you actually counteract Trump? Now, the reason that they don't is because they're cowards. They don't want to counteract the base, right? Because the base, of course, actually doesn't care when Donald Trump lies, changes his story, throws people under the bus, cheats. There's almost nothing that he can do that these diehard Trump supporters won't actually continue to support him. And so what do you do when you're one of these Republicans that are like, I can't defend this? I don't want to defend this. But then again, I don't want to lose my seat. I don't want to lose my power. And that's what this is about. Uh, and so as usual, you're going to have these Republicans that, yes, they will go to the media and they will talk about this and they will vent frustration. Um, and, and, and they'll do that. But when it comes to actually publicly speaking out, they refuse to do it because they're absolute cowards. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.